welcome back to my channel. So today I have some major news to spill. I mean, you can kind of already tell by my background because first of all, this is not the background you're used to, or at least like you've seen before. But I actually moved to Los Angeles. So I am living here in LA. I've been here for a couple days, but in this vlog or this video, you will be seeing me packing for LA. So you'll see all that go down. I pack two suitcases, a carry-on bag. So I know I've been keeping this a secret for such a long time, but I am just so excited to finally have gotten this off of my chest and to tell you all and i am definitely doing a moving series so get ready for that i am so excited to take you all on this journey i still can't believe that i am here i am living in the city of angels so <sighs> i'm just so excited so if you watched my previous vlog of where i explained that i did not have my car with me now you know why <laughs> my car was being shipped out here to la so i could have my car with me and i can drive myself around everywhere and to and from my auditions so it's so so nice to have my car here like i am so happy that I got to ship it out because I don't know what I would do without it. I would be spending way too much money on Uber and Lyft and it would just not be good at all. So yeah, that's where my car was. So first off, before I even get into the video, I just wanted to talk about the move. So yes, I moved to Los Angeles, but I moved here because I am going to pursue acting. So if you have been following my channel for a while, or if you just know me in real life, you know that I have been acting for almost all of my life. I have been acting since I was in fifth grade. So not like all my life, since I was like 10 years old basically. And I have been acting ever since. Now I am out here to pursue my dream and become an actress so it's all very exciting things i can't wait to see my dreams come true and i cannot wait to take you all along with me i am just so grateful to be here and i just can't wait for all of the amazing things to happen and i'm also following my dream of actually moving out here. I feel like I've been dreaming of this for years now. I've always said that I wanted to move out to LA and now here I am. I'm living in LA. I'm in my apartment right now. I am living with two roommates and I am so excited for you all to meet them. You'll see them very soon. So just make sure you're subscribed and you're staying tuned and watching my moving vlogs. I'm so excited to start those and show you guys the whole moving process. It's been a lot, but I'm very excited for you guys to see this journey and this process. So one of my roomies is actually one of my best friends from high school, Courtney. So we actually both went to a performing arts high school and we were both there for acting and we have acted together so many different times. We actually did the same scene for three years in a row, which is The Odd Couple. And it's about two roommates who are polar opposites and they're living together. And now that's us right now, which is so funny. I'm like, oh my God, it's like come full circle. Here we are acting as two roommates and now here we are living as two roommates in real life in LA, like what? It's just so crazy. So I'm just so excited to have you guys meet Courtney and my other roommate, Victoria. I don't wanna make this intro too, too long because 
I want you guys to see the whole process of me packing. That was crazy. I mean, I'm like the most unorganized person when it comes to packing. I mean, my mom did help me fix certain parts of my suitcase to make sure that I was maximizing my space as much as I can. But yeah, I hate packing. Packing is the worst thing ever. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy this pack with me. And again, make sure you're staying tuned for my moving series and that you are subscribed to my channel. And enjoy this pack with me video. Hello everyone. So it is day one of me packing up everything for LA. I still can't believe that I'm packing to move to LA. Like it's just so crazy to me that I'm moving across the country. But first things first, I am going to try to pack as much of my makeup as possible. I'm only taking the makeup that I know I for sure will use but this is like the perfect time for me to actually go through my makeup and see what stuff I don't use and would rather donate to like friends or um, a women's shelter or I can make a pile of stuff that like is old and crusty and just needs to be tossed. So I'm going to go through my Alex drawers and just go through absolutely everything. And then I'm going to pack as much as I can. I don't know how to exactly do this in a correct format, I guess, but I do have this makeup bag that was sent to me like months ago from this company and I'm obsessed. This is like the perfect little makeup bag. It holds so much makeup. Like as you can see, it has a lot of different pockets and it's just very handy like it can just fit a lot and look it even has a little hook so then you can hang it up if you want to get ready in the bathroom and just use the makeup like that it's like perfect for travel it's definitely not big enough to hold everything but i think it would be nice to fit like um little things like my blushes my um bronzers maybe my like lipsticks and lip glosses, just as much as I can in here. Like certain things, I'm gonna see if I can bubble wrap because I obviously don't want those to get broken. So any of like my eyeshadow palettes and my like higher end like blushes and stuff, I will definitely be bubble wrapping. But other than that, I'm gonna see how much I can fit in here. So. Let's see guys. Oh, and by the way, any makeup that I use on an everyday basis, I obviously am not going to pack just yet because, you know, I still need to do my makeup and look cute. For real, let's go through these drawers and see what I can fit in here. Just before I do the time lapse, I just wanted to show you guys what my Alex drawers look like. It is the nine drawer one. I know that they have like smaller ones, but this one has nine drawers. And as you can see in this first drawer, we just have a bunch of lip products. Like this is insane how many lip products I have accumulated over the years. Um, over here, it's like a bunch of like eye makeup. So I have mascaras, eyeliner, fake lashes. Over here I have a bunch of face products. So like my blush, this is the one I use every day so I'm gonna keep that in there. Um, my Bare Minerals Powder Foundation I'm gonna keep in here also. And then this I use specifically for the bronzer. So these three items I'm keeping in here but everything else I'm gonna see whether or not I want to bring it with me to Cali. This is all of my eyeshadow palettes. So this, my mom said that she's going to bubble wrap so it doesn't get messed up because we do not want a bunch of broken eyeshadow palettes. That would not be fun at all. Um, over here, this is like a miscellaneous drawer. There's like a bunch of random things in here, so I don't really know what I'm going to keep 
from that one. And then that's it for the makeup drawers. This is just like other random things. Oh, I could probably use this to store makeup also. So maybe I'll use the black case I showed you and then I'll use this one as well. I feel like this would be better for like the bigger things. Like maybe once I bubble wrap my eyeshadow palettes, I can just stick it in here. Cause this is a really cute like travel makeup bag to use. So I definitely want to bring this with me. But yeah, so let's get to packing. This is the aftermath of me trying to figure out which lipsticks I want to keep and which ones I want to throw away. My arm literally looks crazy right now. But this honestly helps so much because then I get to see which lipstick colors I would actually wear and ones I would never wear. Like for example, this one on the bottom here, like it's such a dark plum color. I truly can't see myself ever wearing it. And this one over here too, like what? This does help a lot, but my arm looks crazy. Okay, so it has been a few hours. I mean, it hasn't taken me the full few hours. I just paused to take a dinner break and then I was just like, chilling on my phone and talking to my mom for a while. So I took a very long break, but I have made a lot of progress. I emptied out all of the makeup that I wouldn't really use. I just like emptied out all the makeup that I either have had for a while and I just know that it's not good anymore. And I also, emptied out the makeup that was lightly used so i'm gonna see if my friends want it but if not then i'm just going to either donate them or like i don't know give it to other family or friends whatever but i have added a bunch of makeup to this little makeup pouch and this actually fits so much like i could definitely fit a lot more I just don't want to put everything in here because there are a lot of makeup products that I like to use throughout the week. Like, I mean, I don't wear a full face of makeup every single day, but I'm having a going away party. So I want to obviously do my makeup for that. But at least I know that I can fit a lot more in here. So that makes me feel a lot better. But in this little section of the makeup case, I just put mainly all of the lipsticks that I want to bring. I just like picked random lipsticks from my collection. I'm not bringing every single one because I do have a lot. I just grabbed a couple handfuls and <laughs> threw it in here. And then I have my favorite eyelashes, like my fake lashes. And then I have um, my favorite eyeliner as well. And then here I have some of my makeup brushes, not all of them, because again, I need it for throughout the week while I'm still here. Um, there's another pouch right here. I just put this highlighter that I like to use sometimes. Um, my lash curler, an unopened mascara bottle, and then this eye serum, and then this little mesh pocket doesn't have anything currently in it but i figured i could probably throw in like i don't know my eyebrow powder my mascara like anything that's really small i could put in that area but yeah this case is very very handy like it fits so much makeup which is insane so i'm very thankful that this company sent me this case if you want to check them out, it's called Case Up, and they have a bunch of really cute travel makeup cases on their website. So I'll definitely have them linked down below in case you want to check them out. But yeah, look at this. 
so handy and it fits so much makeup. So I'm very happy about the progress I have made so far. Obviously, this is just a very small dent in all the things I have to do and all the things I have to pack. But I'm just going to focus on that tomorrow because I just want to relax. I am literally so tired. I worked today at 6 o'clock in the morning. It was my second to last day at the bagel shop. So it's so crazy to think that my time there has come to an end or is almost coming to an end. But I'm just so excited to move. Like this has been in the works for quite some time. I know you guys just found out about it now, but I'm so excited and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. This is going to be such a fun new experience and I'm just so grateful to have you guys there to support me along the way and get to see this whole moving process. Tomorrow I'm gonna pack the stuff that I know for sure I won't be using during the week. I mean, I only need to keep a week's worth of clothes in my closet in my dresser because I mean, I'm only here for less than a week before I move. Okay, and that's a wrap for day one of packing. So see you guys tomorrow or in a second. <laughs> Hello everyone. So it is day two of packing. It is a couple days later from the last clip that I filmed. I was just like very busy and overwhelmed yesterday because it was my last day at work. So I was just like number one tired from waking up at 4.45 in the morning because I work at six. And then also I was like feeling sad a bit because it was my last day and my coworkers like they did like this huge thing with like cake and cupcakes and it made me a little emotional so i was like i don't feel like packing today so i didn't so i am going to try to get as much done as possible right now it is currently 2 20 so i have about an hour to pack as much as possible because I'm doing a little going away party for myself. <laughs> I just felt like it would be perfect to have all of my friends here at my house to celebrate like one last time before I move to California. So I am going to like start doing all of that in about an hour. I need to like get ready obviously do my makeup because as you can see i am bare faced right now and my going away party starts at four so i'm like okay your girl needs to crack down and get a lot of stuff done so first things first that's like not really packing related but i just have to do before i get to packing is putting aside my outfits for the rest of the week so today's monday i leave on friday so that means i need an outfit for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then for the plane on Friday. So I need to set aside four different outfits. I'm just gonna check the weather for the week. So tomorrow it's going to be 79 degrees. On Wednesday, it's going to be 73 degrees. Thursday, it's gonna be 79. And then Friday, I mean, I'm leaving like very early in the morning, so it doesn't really matter but it says it's gonna be about like 82 degrees, a low of 64. So I need to start setting aside those outfits. I mean, it's not too, too hot outside, so I'll probably just, you know, bum it out some days. Like I know for sure, like 73 degrees on Wednesday is not really shorts weather, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick out these outfits. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys, look at how sad my shoe rack looks right now. A lot of my shoes are in my car. That is currently being shipped to LA. Alright, so this is going to be my outfit for tomorrow night. My boss is taking my brother and I out to dinner because um, I had my last day of work yesterday. My brother has his last day of work in two weeks because he's going off to college. So I think this would be cute, a nice little dinner outfit. Okay, so I just set aside a bunch of different outfits for the remainder of the week. 
and I also have my airport outfit so I just have leggings and then my girl Jordan Bouts merch I literally love her merch this is the most comfiest sweatshirt I own I literally love it so much and it's so cute look at this it has a little iced coffee and it says pinkies up so shout out to my bestie Jordan go follow her on YouTube I really love her so much but yeah so I'm wearing her merch to the airport with some leggings then I have a few different outfits so I'm gonna set that aside oh god I can't believe I'm showing you my messy closet but this is everything I currently have in here it's gonna look so empty once I pack it all in my suitcase but pretty much all the shirts you see up here I'll be taking I mean some of the shirts I won't just if I don't really think I'm gonna be wearing it over there I won't bring it with me and then my dresses over here like some dresses I know for sure I will wear a ton but then other dresses I'm like eh I'll just leave it here and then over here I have all of my bottoms so I have a bunch of skirts here I'm not really much of a skirt scout but I think I'm gonna still bring them with me like just in case I want to wear some skirts one day and then I have my bottoms like I have a bunch of jeans I have these fun um, I think they're called Colosso pants I don't even remember what they're called but I love these types of pants and then I just have a lot of like businessy type pants like for when I'm teaching so I'll bring those with me as well and then in these drawers I have like a bunch of miscellaneous things in that middle drawer here I have my leggings so I definitely need to pack those but I'm not gonna pack my gym leggings just yet because I do work out almost every day so I'm gonna need those so I'm not gonna touch that just yet so I have about like half an hour before I have to start getting ready for my going away party so I think what I'm going to do is just take all of the shirts out of my closet and decide which shirts I want to keep at home and what shirts I want to bring with me to LA so then I already know like okay this is going away in my suitcase this is staying here at home but yeah so let's get to work I fall asleep at night Holding my pillow like it's Your body next to mine I say it's fine but that's a bad excuse mm. Mm. I dream of kissing you I write it off for someone Don't wanna face the truth That I keep making every bad excuse mm. Mm. This ain't even love yet Oh my goodness, my bed looks like a chaotic mess. Oh my god. So these are all the shirts that were in my closet. So I just have this huge pile of clothes. And then over here, I just have like my outerwear. So um, I have like two denim jackets, two different cardigans. And then I have skirts over here. Then I have like a few shirts over here. These are like miscellaneous shirts that like I probably won't be wearing every day except like if I'm for example like substitute teaching or something but yeah so that is all I have on my bed so that is all for now. So I just finished packing my first suitcase. I hope this is under 40 pounds. I honestly don't know. I stuffed it to the max. It's literally filled with clothes. 
I have some like random stuff in here too. I have like this game. I have a couple books under here. Um, I have my Nespresso pods, my blow dryer, some claw clips. So I mean, I stuffed a lot. Like this basket was filled with clothes. So I got a lot in here, but let's see if it's under 40 pounds. I mean, it's mainly clothes in here, but we shall see. So now we can close her up, zipper her up, and go on to suitcase number two. Hello everyone. So it is the day before I head to California. It still feels so weird to say that. I just can't believe that I'm literally moving to California tomorrow. It's just wild to me. But I am pretty much all packed. I have the two suitcases packed, but the only thing I really have to do is pack my carry-on bag. So that is what we will be doing right now. I just have like a lot of last minute things to pack. I'm currently doing some laundry. So when that is all dry, I am going to stick that in my carry-on but there are a bunch of other random things as well. Like I have socks to put in here, um, underwear, bras, like the most randomest things ever, including this purse. I need to put my purse in there, but to maximize space, I'm going to stuff my purse to the max and then stick it in my carry-on. So then at least it's like still holding a bunch of stuff while it's taking up a lot of space because i mean this purse does take up a lot of space but first i really need to clean out my purse because my purse just has so much random stuff in it from when i was student teaching and substitute teaching so let's just empty her out and then i'm gonna start packing it with a bunch of random things Okay, so I just finished packing this up for the most part. There is a little bit of room, so I think I'm just going to stuff some socks in here, just like as much as I can fit, but it is pretty packed. I have my everyday makeup in here. I have some deodorants, a bunch of my hair brushes, a hair clip, um, these little what's it called beauty blenders um just like very very random things like i just said i'm gonna just stuff some socks in here since there is a little bit of room okay and then all my other socks i'll just have to stuff in my carry-on which i'm going to open right now all right so there's actually some stuff already in here i just took it out now my mom must have put it in here but yeah, so let me just start packing everything. I think she just like had my eyeshadow palettes like that. And then I'm just gonna roll up these articles of clothing that I have in here. <laughs> goodness you guys this was so incredibly hard to fit everything in here I am praying absolutely praying that this thing closes because <laughs> like look at this it's literally stuffed to the max <laughs> literally so much stuff and I can't even take all of the stuff that's in this laundry basket because I simply do not have any room so let's see if I can close this thing by myself let's see oh oh my god <laughs> no oh my god you guys it literally doesn't close Oh 
Oh my goodness, I'm literally sweating. <gasps> Guys, I got it. I am sweating. <laughs> and sorry if you hear my fan. I'm just way too hot right now to not have it on. I can't believe it was so hard to close. So all I have left to do is finish packing my personal bag or like my personal item, whatever, which is a backpack. And after that, I am all set and officially packed. So I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> Thank you.